Hi everyone, Baker on the dark side. So today I'm gonna try to make um, something Cajun. I've never really made anything Cajun before. My daughter wanted something Cajun. So I'm gonna try a Cajun shrimp pasta. Um, I deveined some shrimp. And uh, here's my shrimp broth with my shrimp scales or whatever you wanna call them, <laughs> shells. <laughs> and um, let me tell you, I hate deveining shrimp. It's disgusting. You don't have to devein anything when you bake. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to apologize for my very loud water. Um, it uh, wants to take over the show. So it's for the pasta. So I'm boiling that right now. Okay. So I'm going to make um, a Cajun seasoning because the one you buy at the store is usually full of sodium. So I'm going to try to simulate um, a Cajun seasoning without all that salt. You can always add salt, people. Just remember that. Okay. Now. I got a little plastic container that I'm going to put it in because I don't know how much I'm going to need and uh, if there's a little extra then I'll have this airtight container to save it for next time and I can label it what I want. I got this at the dollar store. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to start with um, smoked paprika and this is going to be the bulk of it. So I'm going to do probably one and a half tablespoons of smoked paprika because that's my fave. So um, this is a teaspoon, so one and a half tablespoons. This three and a half tablespoons of smoked paprika. Then um, I'm going to do one teaspoon of pepper, black pepper. One. And a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then I'm going to do, I have oregano here, a big thing of oregano. I'm going to do one teaspoon of oregano, and I want to, I got some ground thyme, so ground thyme, I'm going to do like very little ground thyme because thyme is very like strong and I don't want it to be that strong so I'm going to do like a quarter of a teaspoon I judged that it wasn't exact don't judge me <laughs> and then my light salt so typically you put a lot of salt in this but I'm not going to do that I'm going to do about half a teaspoon of light salt you can add salt later all right so there's my Cajun seasoning. Oh wait, I forgot the cayenne. Gotta have a little kick. Not too much kick. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon maybe? All right, let's do that. Eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. You can always add spice too. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the container. Look at how pretty that looks. Do you remember those things when you were a kid where you could do the sand art, you know? This one reminds me of like desert sand art. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna shake it up. Tick, 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 tick. Very fun, like maracas, some music. Okay, you can make this for your mom. This would be very fun if she likes spicy food. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. Looks good, right? And so much less salt. All right, so I gotta boil my pasta and I gotta get my ingredients together and I'll be back to show you how it comes out. All right, everybody. Baker on the dark side, I'm back again. All right, so now I am going to cook up the shrimp just a little bit. So I've got my tablespoon of olive oil and a little bit of butter in here that melted. And I'm gonna get that hot. And now I usually use my always pan, but I was trying to reduce my pan usage since I already used two pans already. <laughs> Um, so uh, I'm going to take these, this is one pound of shrimp that's been cleaned and deveined, as I told you before. And I'm going to mix in some Cajun seasoning, so that Cajun seasoning that I made. This is going to be, I'm going to try half of it. I don't want to do too much more than that. My Cajun seasoning is pretty strong. So I'm going to mix it up in this bowl. I just want to make sure that the shrimp get coated really well and so let's see that looks good so that looks good all right and then I'm going to lay them down 
in a layer. You want to hear the sizzle, right? Okay. Now, I don't want to cook these all the way. You know, nobody likes rubbery shrimp. All we're kind of doing in a way is blackening the shrimp on both sides. Almost like what they would call charring <laughs> the shrimp a little. To get that nice brown seasoning and to get that seasoning so that it adheres to the shrimp. I got a pretty big pan here. You could probably do one pound at a time. If you're making more, um, you will have to do this in two batches for sure. Okay. It's going to be close. <laughs> I'm crowding these guys together. All right. So they're going in there in a single layer. And then they're going to cook on either side so that um, that's going to be all set. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a plate and I'm going to set them aside. And then we're going to get to the sauce part. Okay. The pasta is already done. Um, my daughter likes chickpea pasta. So I did a rotini. You can do a penne. You can do um, any kind of pasta, really. Fettuccine, anything you want, really. So I just did that one. But uh, let me um, get this seed seared up a little bit. And when I'm done, we'll do the sauce. Okay, so I've cooked the shrimp just a little bit. A little bit, one minute on each side. And I have this nice warming uh, section of my oven um, stove that I can keep those warm. So I put those aside and now we've got that Cajun bits under there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. So that's going in. And we're going to actually make a roux. So we're going to put two tablespoons of all-purpose flour in there. And we're going to mix that up. And it's going to get all of those bits. We're going to make this roux because we need something to thicken the sauce. So that's going to do that and get all that in there. It smells really amazing, i got to say. Those Cajun spices just come right through. And you just want to cook that just for like a minute. You want to make sure that you don't get flour. And if you see any big chunks, you know, you can take those out too if you don't like that. Okay, so I've got a nice roux started here. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a quarter cup of white wine. I'm going to add that to my roux. And you can see that the sauce is like, it's getting thick already. You can see it's thickened. Okay. Don't worry about the bits. It's okay. So now it's gotten really thick. You want to keep stirring this. Okay, so now you've got a nice smooth roux. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to add your... I got a little bit of this broth, the shrimp. I cooked the shrimp shells in this. Say that five times fast. Okay, and I'm just gonna add a little bit right now just to give it a little bit of that shrimp flavor. A little more. Okay, just want a little bit more. Okay, so probably like a quarter cup, I'd say. You do a lot of this in baking, because um, you make custards. You make a lot of puddings, a lot of custards. So that's this part I'm familiar with. All right, so now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Now, I love this tomato paste. This is awesome. It comes in a tube. It's fantastic. Cento tomato paste, and then you just, um, it's got a cap on it, and you don't have to worry about cans, and what are you going to do with the rest of it? 
So that's nice. So the tomato paste is also gonna give it some of that flavor. I like the tomato flavor for Cajun. All right, so now I've got a very thick tomato roux. See that? Okay. Now you can add some vegetables if you want. You could add some, um, you know, pepper or uh, green pepper or red pepper, mushrooms if you want. Whatever you want. You can add whatever you want. Okay. So now we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. So I'm doing that. And you gotta add it gradually because you don't want to add it all at once or you're gonna get lumps. So you're adding it gradually. You're making like a tomato cream sauce. Okay. I'm gonna add a little more. So a little at a time. And I've got the heat down to two. I've got it low. I forgot to mention that. So just so you know, this heat is low. So see how that's a creamy, we're getting this creamy tomato sauce? Okay. So you're just gonna keep adding that heavy cream. Really smells amazing. Okay. A little more heavy cream. And then at this point, you're probably good. You're not gonna get any lumps at this point. So you can add the rest. And now you've got this wonderful creamy sauce right now. I mean, this is like butter. Look at that. Okay, so now here's a good time to taste the sauce. You, you know you've got that Cajun shrimp coming in with that Cajun seasoning. But you want to taste the sauce to see what it tastes like. Is it salty? Tastes good. Probably could use maybe a pinch of salt. Not much, though. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the Cajun seasoning in here. Just a little bit to give it more Cajun. Because it tasted more tomatoey than Cajun to me. And I'm sure the shrimp are going to add to that, but... Okay. A little bit of pepper. Just a sprinkle. We're going to put the pasta in. Okay. We don't need this whisk anymore. So now we've got our spoon. We're going to do that. Put that in. Mix this pasta together. And then we're going to add our shrimp. And some Parmesan. So I got half a cup of Parmesan. I already measured it. I just left it in there. And then you're going to add the rest of this juice to kind of loosen it up a little bit. It still has to cook. So it's not cooked yet. So that's what it looks like. We're going to cover it and we're just going to let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. We're going to taste it again and then see if it needs any more seasoning. All right. We've had our 15 minutes and we're going to try our pasta. So uh, you want, I cooked it very low. I only cooked it on like two and I let it simmer for about 15 minutes. So it does look pretty loose, it's not bad at all. Um, just a couple tablespoons of cream, you just wanna make sure it's loose. So I'm gonna add a, a little more cream. The shrimp to be white and opaque, but not overcooked, we don't want rubber. Okay, so we're gonna plate this up. So you just, you know, you plate it up for mom, really nice. You got, put a little bit of the pasta on the bottom. All right, okay. Here we go. And then we take a few of those Cajun shrimps, those creamy Cajun shrimps, and put them on top. All right? That looks good. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Okay. And then you just take a little bit of the Cajun seasoning, and you, I want to just sprinkle it with my fingers, but my fingers won't fit. <laughs> so we're going to just Sprinkle on some Cajun seasoning just to add a little of that Cajun spice to it. 
okay? Still brown on brown, I know. And then we're gonna add a little bit of parsley to that or cilantro, whatever you feel like. Look at that. And then you could still add just a little bit more Parmesan if you really wanna add on a little more decadence. Look at that. You could add some fresh tomato to it. That would be good too. All right. So my first attempt at Cajun pasta. Let's see how it goes. Let me get a fork. You can look at it a little longer while I get a fork. <laughs> Sorry. I usually try to be prepared, but I'm rushing today. All right. So here goes. I'm going to get a piece of shrimp and I'm going to get some pasta. Okay. Here it goes. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Just enough kick, enough creaminess. Mmm. Mmm. Your mom is gonna love this. Make it so good. Make your dad make it, whatever you have to do. She'll be very pleased. And there's some leftover wine, you know just for you, Dad, because you're going to need it. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> happy Mom's Day to all of my moms out there. And if you're looking for a very easy, decadent dessert, go into my webpage there um, on YouTube, uh, Baker on the Dark Side, and I have a wonderful, very easy, flourless chocolate cake. Cook it, have some whipped cream and ice cream with it, whatever you want. Live it up. Do it, do it upright for your mom. Thanks for joining.